Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. In this week's video, I will be unboxing and taking a first look at the new Imperial Knight, the Preceptor Knight, in this case, uh, Canis Rex. This Imperial Knight uh, will cost you 95 pounds, but you can make, well, all of the other five Imperial Knights uh, with this one kit. So without further ado, uh, let's crack this open. Uh, I was expecting it um, at the weekend, uh, but nonetheless, it's come today, it being Monday, um, but this video is out on Wednesday. I thought I'd use this as the Warhammer Wednesday video. And here it is, look at this, straight away. Amazing, wow. So there the other uh, Knights look. Um, so five knights in total, a warden, a crusader, a paladin, an errant. Oh, there's one missing, the gallant. Um, doesn't say there, but of course we know it can make the gallant too because it's got the, the uh, Thunderstrike gauntlet. Let's pop this open. So this is what it looks like. Imperial Knights, Knight Preceptor, Canis Rex. And then you get also includes Sir Hector on foot. Um, I do have an Imperial Knight army. Uh, I've got I've got five of the normal Imperial Knights, and then a Castellan and a Valiant, and uh, and a Castus Knight as well. Um, so a nice collection of them. Uh, yeah, I'd love to get the Renegade box at some point, and if I do, I, I will do the uh, unboxing review of it. So let's uh, unbox this. There's Sir Hector himself with his lunchbox, of course. <laughs> um, Wow, I like the artwork on this box. Look at that. We've got the chains and the Rex kind of symbol, household symbol. Oh, and there we go. Very stocked um, box, very heavy. Um, quite a few sprues in here. And um, very thick. I do like my thick instruction guides, I tell you. Um, so this says uh, Night Preceptor Canis Rex, the Preceptor, Crusader, Warden. Paladin, Errant, and Gallant, even though they've all got, um, you know, carapace-mounted weapons too, or uh, well, they're shown, shown with them. Um, and there you go, look. Choose the variant you wish, and then you just pick the different uh, stages to build that Imperial Knight. I will be building a Knight Preceptor Canis Rex and using it as a, as a normal Preceptor. I may get another one in the future and have that as a preceptor as well in, in a funky kind of um, position. But it's a CAD based uh, instruction guide as most of the models are these days. Um, you've got a little bit about um, Sir Hector. You can have him shown open uh, in, the, in the throne there. There's also a, a model of him on foot um, so that when his knight blows up or whatever, he can jump out and uh, you know, go and find a nice, nice quiet spot to, to eat his um, sandwiches. Lemon curd, I, I believe. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the new weapon, this Laz Impulsor. Uh, also, I think it comes with a, a multi-laser, I want to say. Does it show it anywhere? Where is it? There it is, multi-laser. You can have a multi-laser on there as well. So that's another, before you could have just the, the melter gun uh, or the stubber heavy stubber and now you can have the multi-laser too so that is uh, all of the kind of stages for uh, canis rex and then you've just got the the basic stages for um for all nine variants but then you've got preceptor stage for the multi-laser preceptors have multi-lasers again preceptor there so you've actually got stages for the preceptor as well which has the the chainsword, but you can have him with the, the fist too. And then you've got the Crusader, the Warden, um, Paladin, the Errant, the Gallant, which is quite straightforward. And that's it. And then you've got pictures of them all and um, some nice color schemes and color guides uh, to get them those colors. Mine are. Uh, made up nightly house pretty much but um they've got origins in the terrin house terrin nightly house but they were lost and then they're found a bit like the all of my uh actual titans um so there you go 
and then you've got the the rules and things now th this is nothing new really and um, these rules uh, are in the new imperial knight codex so if you haven't got that it's another reason to get it but if you haven't got the imperial knight codex then they're h here in the instruction book too um, but you don't get the rules for the normal other variants all right so you will need the codex or you will you know I say you will need to buy the other box sets of them, but actually, I don't know whether they'll have the 8th edition rules in. Um, maybe if they've been reboxed, but there you go. Uh, you've got the rules for the Preceptor and Canis Rex in here, um, but the other rules, you're going to need the Codex um, for the other variants. Okay, let's have a look at the parts themselves then. So, so this is quite a, a standard, straightforward sprue that everybody's used to. Um, this is showing 2013, so a whopping five years ago. I think the Imperial Knights came out in 2014, I want to say. Um, but this is just your standard sprue with the top carapace and the shoulder pauldrons or armor plates, shoulder armor plates and the exhaust um, ports with the heavy stubber and some shoulder mounts and a few insignia icons uh, to put on the top of the carapace. Um, then you've got another quite straightforward and I say aging it's not really that old five years really um another sprue from 2013 which is the the other uh base um imperial knight sprue which has got the reaper chainsaw and the battle cannon and the thermal cannon um and the two um helmets or head variants um for the basic standard imperial knight so in, in that kit you've got the there's another sprue in here probably at the end with the legs but you get that sprue this sprue uh, and the carapace sprue as the the standard ones this is the new sprue we'll have a look at that in a moment but let's just go through the others so this is the uh, leg and feet sprue um again so in your normal kit that that first came out you'd have these three in a box um oh look you've got a little 32 mil uh, 28 mil base actually um so you've got the the feet the hips, the banner, um, hip joint, uh, the legs, leg armor, um, and all the pistons as well that go go with that, um, and a blank shield if you want to paint on there, and Mechanicus uh, kind of head, and just a standard um, head or face. So that's the, the three kind of sprues that you used to get in um, the original kits. Uh, this was the next sprue that they introduced. Um, I want to say, is this 2014? Yeah, 2014 so a year later they basically brought out the codex again but included an additional uh three imperial knights um well when i say three they just chose the gallant as as one with just the reaper chain sword and the and the fist which this has uh also they introduced the cat three carapace weapons the auto cannons the uh, missile launchers and the and the rocket pods um as well as um the flamer on the, the Gatling cannon and uh, a melter gun for the point defense kind of weapon. Also gave you a shield, again a blank shield, um, but this time it was kind of armored and all the pistons and joints that go with it, as well as the fingers for the for the Thunderstrike gauntlet. So that was the, the fourth sprue that they introduced uh, and you get that with this kit. Now the fifth sprue is this Preceptor sprue. It's probably the reason why you're here while you're watching this video. Um, but before we look at that, you get your normal surfboard kind of base um, and you get a lovely Imperial Knights transfer sheet and you've got some chains and you've got some Canis Rex uh, transfers. Um, so that's a great, great little transfer sheet. Keep that safe. Obviously you've got the 28 mil base and then this is the new sprue that you get. Let me just zoom in for this one. So this sprue, as you can see, um, it's got this massive whapping great big uh, Laz Impulsa um, beam of death thing that, well, it has an 18 inch range and a 36 inch range. So it's, it's nice that it's got like two profiles. You've got the multi-laser, you've got the, uh, the head of um, Sir Hector if you want to put him in the throne. Speaking of which, you've got the, the throne itself, this, this kind of bucket thing along with this. Um, lots of detail there, nice plush cushioning. Um, you know, uh, rumors have it that it's heated uh, and then it gives you a bit of a back massage as well after a heavy day's uh, striding and um, firing the, the Laz Impulsor. Uh, also, you've got different knee armor. You've got this uh, nice dagger 
um, and a really nice old school Monty Python uh, looking esque uh, nightly faceplate too, uh, as well as um, the different parts for Sir Hector, like his arms obviously, and his uh, torso. And I think I mentioned the, the new banner that hangs between uh, Canis's uh, legs. You've got a different shield this time for House Stark. I mean, um, yeah, sorry, winter is coming, so that's why they've they've clearly got this Stark uh, motif uh, on here. And then you've got some. Uh, nice wolves here, um, emblem kind of things which go on the, the normal eagle um, knights. So I like that attention to detail that there's enough on this sprue to, to really change the, the look of the knight. And really I only wish Games Workshop or even Forge World brought out more kind of things like this, like a, a sprue that can easily be implemented onto existing kits. Um, so you could have different bigger weapons, different point defense weapons, and different like houses, insignias, and motifs and things, and different pilots as well. You know, I think that would be really cool. They've, they've done this, there's nothing stopping them from changing the big weapons maybe, and changing the actual uh, style of the uh, motifs. But who knows, that might be in the, in the pipeline. But anyway, that's the new uh, sprue. Um, what I'm gonna do now is go away and build this as fast as I possibly can and try and get you a review again as soon as possible. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.